All right, back for round two. It absolutely poured last night, and um, doesn't look like it rained up here at all. It looks like it's still pretty dry. The ground's still pretty dry. Uh, this kind of looks like a ghost town at the flea market. I did decide I'm going to shop today. I uh, I don't think I've shopped on the prime day at all this year, but it kind of looks kind of empty with the other flea market going on. Usually this place is pretty empty, but we'll see if we find anything and what could we possibly find on today's day of flea market with taco stacks. No lid though. That's lid, that's the wrong lid. Right, off lid. Yeah. Is that a little bunch? Yeah, he's ripped and all of it. This is the way this kind of works. I know when I do my flea market videos, people are like shocked that people go in my van, my van. Uh, but yeah, everyone helps this guy unload his van or his trailer. So I can't imagine how long it would take. See, everyone's going in and out of the trailer. I can't imagine how long this would take if he had to unload every single box by himself. Like that'd be, that'd be insane. So yeah, everyone else helps him and gets done in about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, whatever bin you get, you get, and uh, you get first dibs on it. At least to look through, you don't have to take the bin. I've always seen these uh, plates, but I've never seen them with the box. Molten. A fake pewter. A lot of people think that's pewter. It's not actually pewter. It's actually aluminum. Which is a huge difference in the melting world. If you melt down for jewelry. Pewter jewelry versus aluminum jewelry. Don't hear much about aluminum jewelry. Yeah. Walking around on the 
down. Oh no, like, like I said, I was already out of the picture because Jim had to put the guy to stand back at least. So I was already, you know, out of the picture. You know, luckily, you know, it wasn't a reason to do that. They'll be provided. I sold a thousand. How about these $100 bills? What is that? That's a Winchester. That's uh, a Best, huh? Got some goodies. Yeah. So I managed to buy a bunch of clothes from that one guy, but market's kind of empty. It's a usual day. This whole row is filled. That row is filled. It's usually a guy here who's here every week. He's not here. Two or three people over here. Yeah, this place is. Uh, whenever you have multiple markets going on in the same day, same week, it gets a little tough. Over there, there's actually a, uh, so I left the flea market, there's a bench press, like uh, a weight bench, I should say. Now there's a random, actually that's gotta be garbage. Like, cause who would just leave a bicycle rack out there right next to a bicycle? Like, why would you leave a bicycle rack there? Like, if it was just a bicycle, I'd be like, I would think it's not trash. Um, granted, it is like 7.30 in the morning. I don't see any, no one's up right now in this neighborhood. Um, so you would think that's probably trash considering it's right by the road, but I just don't like taking bicycles here in the summer. But since there's a bicycle rack right next to it, like it's gotta be trash. Cause no one would just leave that out there. But I'm not gonna take it anyway. Uh, probably the only regret, I mean, I can't really, th I could throw it back there. I'd have to move around some stuff. I have some breakables back there. Uh, the only thing I kind of wish I did buy one of these days, and I'm going to talk about this a lot more. I know I probably talked about a bunch. I was at a yard sale three years ago, four years ago, and there was a pickup truck there. And I guess the homeowner or whatever passed away, and you know the family was taken over. There's a pickup truck there for 300 bucks. I don't know what it was, like a 94, 96, clean. I think it only had like 70 or 80 thousand miles. It's only 300 dollars. I don't know why I didn't just buy it. Granted, you don't know anything about it, but for 300 bucks, you scrap it if it's like, needs a transmission or needs a new engine, just scrap it, you know, if it doesn't work. It's just the whole insurance thing kind of throws me for a loop there. But 300 bucks for a pickup truck that was like in mint condition with like maybe 80,000 miles or 60,000 miles on it, crazy. But I wish I would've got it for like situations like this. We do have a planter out there. Ooh, maybe I'll grab that. I'll grab the one that doesn't have the, uh, the one that doesn't have the plant in it. So I see a guy over here is just staring at me. Alright. Yeah. The other one's nice too. If I have my uh, van later. Oh wow, that almost broke.
was just grilling me up. I, I think he was walking to his mailbox and he saw me driving up and then so he stopped because he was like, well, I don't want to go to my mailbox. This guy is just like about to pull up to my driveway. Get this. I'll try to put my seatbelt on before I drive. I'm pretty sure it's one of like the rules and regulations of driving, but nah, screw it. If that other planter is there later on, I might grab it. I know it does have a plant in it, but it looked like it was in pretty decent shape. It was kind of cool. Uh, it was just really large. I didn't really want to get dirt throughout everywhere in my, my Jeep. I would say, though, like I said with the truck, wish I would have bought the truck. I would have just thrown that back in the truck. It's kind of different throwing it in a car or a Jeep or an SUV as opposed to a van or a pickup truck. Buy some Taco Sacks merch. All right, so I made it back, and this is kind of what I grabbed. I know I got a bunch of stuff from the other day, but got a couple minor league baseballs here, which are really interesting. I don't think these are autographed. Um, they're kind of cool. These are uh, the baseballs. These are uh, major league and minor league baseballs. Are such a high quality of a baseball, but uh, they're very good. Um, if you can get a lot up, I know there was a time where I was selling them prior for about wholesale used, like three to five dollars a baseball for the minor league baseball. So I grabbed a whole bunch of those. Did also pick up this, which I thought was kind of neat. I don't know who that's supposed to be, but it's cool. So I got that from my friend Mark. There's also this one hockey puck, which I'll show you in a bit. Look at that nice older Atari thing. Atari memorabilia. Paper ephemera. I never got into Atari, but I thought, eh, some vintage video game stuff. People love video game stuff, especially the older stuff. Atari was like the one system uh, I never got into. Uh, between all the major systems, I just... I don't even think I really ever... I maybe played like it twice in my entire life, which is crazy, I think, considering how much stuff I find. Um, but yeah, so I got that. Also got... Not sure if this is worth anything. I think it's in 1985 or 1988. Wonder Woman, I guess it is. My superhero, my superhero, <laughs> my superheroes are off. Uh, but that was kind of cool, as you guys saw. I also got this just now. That's gonna go out into my yard over there, which actually kind of matches my other ones. But uh, I'm gonna sell that. Also got this hockey puck, which I can somehow see that it is autographed. I just have to take the case off. However, you do that. Oh, there you go. I don't know who that is, though. Looks like it was probably submerged in the water. I don't know who that player is. But maybe I can... Uh, I was going to say, maybe I can do some sort of, like, Google Lens and figure it out. Figure that out. It looks like a 67. But I don't know who would... I don't know any hockey player who wore number 67. I thought for a second it might be Wayne Gretzky, but I don't think it is. So got some of that, and then also got some shirts from the guy who had a bunch of clothes a while back. So this guy had clothes for, he had a, probably about a week ago, or two weeks ago I should say. three, uh, Two or three weeks ago he had a bunch of shirts. And everything was like 3 to $5 each. Uh, he eventually, you know, after selling for, you know, a week or two weeks he eventually lowered his price now to everything was a dollar uh and i was able to get some today was also like the first or second day of the year that i've been able to shop on the prime day of flea market season so uh, i know the first week he had it i had a couple friends who picked up like 40 or 50 t-shirts each and uh i never even got to the pile really uh by the end of the day i was kind of just burnt out so uh kind of got leftovers but got some cool things we have a nice fbi t-shirt this is a 1994 wine t-shirt this I thought was a nice nature shirt. Uh, some of this stuff will probably fit. Like, I hope these yellow shirts fit. They're kind of cool. Got some wolves. These are two older ones. Garage Rats, Archery and Black Powder Club. And that's another Archery and Black Powder Club for the Garage Rats. Kind of a cool logo with the beavers, I think those are. Or whatever you'd call them. Elk Mountain Hunting Club. And this is a wraparound sweatshirt. Which may or may not fit, but very cool all around. 
So it was a fun day of treasure hunting. I know I haven't been able to get really out there uh, to do a lot of uh, flea market videos. I know we've done back to back now, so kind of cool. I know I've, I'll probably be back up there next week to sell. I don't really have much, but I'd like to really officially clean out that warehouse in one shot. So maybe next week I'll do that. But as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely hit the like button on the video. Uh, it truly helps out the channel. And thanks for all the support over the past couple of years. It's been an awesome summer so far. If you guys uh, want to see more, subscribe down below. Catch you guys next time. Next adventure, who knows what we'll get to. It'll be something fun. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.